Hi guys and welcome back. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the free content that I share with the training community here on YouTube. So if you haven't seen the first uh, using the IG platform video that I uploaded yesterday, go back and watch that one first if you would. And probably best to start there, start from the beginning, and then come back to this one next. But for those who have seen the first video, in today's video, we're going to cover the toolbar, which you'll use to access drawings, tools, indicators, multiple time frames, and so on. So let's dive into it and let's help you use the platform as efficiently as possible. But very quickly before we dive in, again, for those of you asking, well, <laughs> why are you putting these videos together? Two answers really. So firstly, a few of you asked me if I would, as you were new to the platform, and above anything, this channel really is, is here to help you. And secondly, really just that, this channel is, again, it's here to help you, it's here to add value for you, and help all of you become more skilled, more knowledgeable, more efficient traders. And also, I just want to restate that I'm in no way affiliated with IG, I'm not being paid to make these. There's no affiliate links or anything like that. Again, I'm making this because I genuinely enjoy making videos and it helps you guys. So it's it's a win-win really. So with that out of the way, let's dive in. So here we are back inside IG. We've got a market uh, selected and placed inside one of our layouts. And from here, we're able to do a few different things using the toolbar itself. Now, as you bring your mouse on screen, you'll see this pop up. And this is what we're going to cover and go through together today. So you have a handful of tools to use here from time frame to date range to indicators and so on. So let's walk through each one together. Firstly, you're able to select a time frame here. And of course, what this does is allows you to view the market with each candlestick representing one unit of your selected time. So for example, if you select a monthly chart, each candlestick will of course represent one month of price movement. And from there, it runs right down to one second and even one tick. Next, you have the date range, which allows you to skip backwards to a certain trading session on a certain date. And one thing to bear in mind here is that different brokers do allow for different amounts of data. So as an example, let's say we're using a, uh, a five minute chart. IG for one uh, only provide one year of data, whereas other brokers and data providers might offer more or they might offer less. Uh, for example, Pro Real Time offer 200,000 candlesticks, which off the top of my head, I believe is just below uh, two years. So almost a double what IG provide and so on. And by the way, if you are an IG user, uh, as long as you have a live account and you place live trades uh, throughout each month, you get Pro Real Time completely free with your account. You can turn that on in the settings uh, menu. Really, really useful, really great charting software. And I use that regularly myself as well. Next, you have the split chart feature. And this, as you'd expect, allows you to split your current chart across time frames. So as an example, let's say the two charts layout, if I just get this clicked. And then as you can see, you're able to view one market across multiple time frames at once. And this can be really useful if you're perhaps executing by, let's say, a one hour chart, but you're monitoring the, let's say, five minute chart to fine tune your entry and, and so on and so forth. Next, you have the indicators menu, and I won't cover everything in here, or, or we'll be here for, for an hour or two, because each indicator can get, get pretty extensive. But you can use this to select everything from more common indicators like a moving average or an RSI, right through to a rate of change or an Arun, and so on and so forth. Next, you have the drawings menu, and you can use this to do things like select a a horizontal line to plot support and resistance areas. You might select the rectangle tool to mark um, supply and demand areas. You can use the arrows to highlight entries as another example. And you can use obviously the trend tool to mark trend lines and so on and so forth. One thing I use a lot myself is actually the measure tool as it's really useful for correctly viewing the risk that you're looking to place within a trade, as one example, because it's extremely precise. So uh, yeah, definitely give that one a look. 
Next, you have the view tool that you can use to either hide or unhide any drawings or uh, indicators that are on your chart or the price line and so on. And next to that, you have the chart settings tab that you can use to do things like uh, look at upcoming news, adjust the type of chart that you'd like to view, adjust the price settings, the scale, the layouts, and so on and so forth. And finally, you've got the zoom tool and the perspective tool as well, which when clicked, as you'd expect, uh, repositions your chart and brings price back into perspective for you. Right, so that's it for this very short uh, beginners using the on chart toolbar video. Uh, I really hope that's been helpful. Uh, look out for the next using the IG platform video coming in a day or two. Again, I really hope that helps. I hope that adds value, triggers some inspiration and, and helps those of you who use IG. I'll leave it there for today, and as always, trade with edge, with consistency, and I look forward to having you back here on the channel soon. Thanks, everyone.